Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to design and assemble my newest template, the donut holder, using Cricut Design Space. You're going to see how easy it is, and this is great for those events that a lot of parents do not like to have treats. So, let's get started. For your materials, you are going to need a cutting machine such as a Cricut or a Cameo. You're going to need cardstock of your choice. Here are my favorite brands, which is Basil, Clear Path, and Cardstock Warehouse. I highly recommend 80 pound and up. Of course, your metallic and glitter printer and a printing paper of your choice, making sure that the paper is compatible with your printer and, of course, your donut squeezies. All the links will be down below in the description box. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is head on over to my website. It is called andrinascreations.com. I'll leave the link down below specifically for this template. So again, before making any purchase on my website, feel free to read the entire description. It will let you know what kind of files it comes with. If it's a Cricut file or Silhouette file, just please make sure you read everything because everyone keeps getting confused if it's compatible with your Cricut, if it's compatible with your Cameo cutting machines. After you read the entire description, this template will be coming with five files. It will come with two SVG files that are compatible with your Cricut. There is something new also now on my website that is called the loyalty points. Anytime you make a purchase on my website, you will earn points. For every dollar you spend, you earn five points. Once you earn 250 points, you can convert that to $1 on my website. You also get 200, uh, I think it is 200 points if this is the first time you are uh, signing up on my website. You also get extra points if you go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. You will earn extra points for that. There's also something very exciting that is the referral points. You get five points and the person that you referred also gets five points. So go ahead and share where you're getting your templates from so you can earn some points. All right, y'all. Now, when you click on add to cart on my template, it's going to have this pop-up message. Please do not skip this message. Please read it because it's going to let you know that you must unzip the folder to access the files. You cannot double click a file to, and it's going to automatically open on Cricut. You must first open the um Cricut design space then go to upload and you're going to upload the svg from within Cricut. so please read this once you understand all this you're going to click i have read and understood and then it's going to automatically get um to your cart once you pay for it another thing is please make sure that you add in the correct email if by any chance you put the incorrect email all you have to do is email me okay so let me show you what i mean that you cannot double click after you extract the file i'm actually going to extract the file here as well so you can see what i mean so when you go ahead and pay for the template you're going to receive a zipped folder that's going to look just like this then when i click this folder it's going to say extract i'm going to click extract i'm going to click extract all then on my laptop this shows up and is going to go ahead if you click automatically extract it's going to extract directly to your downloads but what i will highly recommend is for you to click here where it says browse and for you to go ahead and um look for exactly the folder that you want to save in so i'm going to be clicking on my external hard drive and you can right click and create a new folder and you can name that folder let's say angina's creations template right so when you create that folder which my folder is Angina's Creations um, Donut Template, but if you're downloading a lot of templates from me or from anybody, just create that own folder for that person. Anyways, once you create that folder, then all you have to do is click on the folder and it's gonna say select folder. And when you select it and click extract, it's gonna extract inside of that folder, okay? I'm gonna click on cancel because I already have mine. Once you extract it, you open up all the files that was in that zipped folder, which as you can see, there's actually going to be five, um, five files. I just had to, if you're watching this video today, September 11th of 2023, I still have not created the PDF, which I will be. So you will be having five files, but right now there is four. Okay. So you're going to have two silhouette files and you're going to have two SVGs. Another confusion that people are having is they can't see which one is the SVG. So the one with the blue logo that says Microsoft Edge right here says type. 
where it says Microsoft Edge, that is the SVG, which right here it will say AK, which is Angina's Creations Round Edge Donut Holder SVG. And then the other one will be the AK Scalloped Donut Holder SVG. So you get the round edge and the scalloped edge, the SVG. Number thing, another thing that people are having trouble is that they think that automatically if they double click on the SVG, that is going to automatically open in Cricut. And it is not. It's not going to open up in Cricut or it's not even going to open up in Silhouette. You're just opening the file with no software. Okay, so don't do that. After you extracted the file, go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. All right. FYI, I am not very good at Cricut. So all my Cricut people, don't come in here and be like, that's not the way you do it. I am learning as I go. I am doing these tutorials because I have a lot of Cricut users. So I am going to be showing you how to design my template the way that I know so far how to do it, okay? So the next thing is you're going to click on new project. From here, you're going to click on upload, which is all the way on your left. When you do click on upload, you're going to go here where it says upload image. You're going to go to browse and go ahead and find that folder that you saved the template, which again, is it is on my external hard drive. And there you go. You have the two options. Either you want the round edge or the scalloped edge. So I'm just going to click on the scalloped edge one and I'm going to click on open. Then I'm going to click right here on upload in my um, right bottom corner. And it's going to be right here. Go ahead and do the same steps for the um, the images that you want to have and your digital paper. Digital paper, I did go and get it from Creative Fabrica. I highly recommend this website. I'll leave the link down below. I do pay the yearly fee. I think it's around $50 for the yearly fee, but you can also do the monthly fee. But everything is free after you become a member. So I am going to be using this um, donut digital paper. And I'm also going to be using the little clip art of the girls. So all you got to do is click on download. And then, of course, you extract the file. Make sure that you download it to the correct folder that you want them in. And that's all, okay? After you do all that, go ahead and back into Cricut Design Space, click on upload and upload your images and upload your digital paper. I know that you can also upload your digital pattern as a pattern fill. So all you have to do is click on pattern filled and then upload the pattern and then it will be inside of your patterns. But I'm not going to do that right now. But that's a different way that you're going to do it. Okay. So once everything is here, then go ahead and click on your template and go ahead and add that to the canvas. Once your template is inside of uh, the canvas, you do have to resize your template, which all of my templates come with the measurements that you have to put here inside of design space. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to go ahead and right click your template and ungroup it. You are going to move the measurements to the side and you're only going to have the template selected, your entire template selected. And then right here on your width and height, you're going to enter the measurements that are in the template. Okay. If the measurements are not going exactly of what I given, make sure that you unlock the lock proportion here on your um, software on top of your width and height. So unlock that and then go ahead and put the measurements that I gave. Okay. After that, you no longer need the measurements. So you're going to click on the measurements and delete them. And now you are, let me zoom out a little bit. So it's right here on your magnifying glass, the minus and the plus sign. I'm going to select my template, right click and ungroup my template. So now everything is separate. So let me explain to you what the template is. The pink is the main base. The teal is the first layer and the lavender is going to be the second layer. So the teal is what you're going to cut out of your glitter or metallic cardstock. And then the teal, the, I'm sorry, the lavender is what you're going to be adding your 
um, image to your pattern. If you do not own a home printer, you can actually just cut out these pieces and use an embossing machine to emboss um, the paper to give it that texture. Or if you don't own an embossing machine, you, or you can just use your pattern cardstock that you can find on Michaels, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, that they already have an image on the cardstock and you won't even need a home printer, okay? So as you can see, the base does have some score marks here. Let me zoom in. You do need to attach them score marks because if you do not attach it and you go ahead and start cutting the template, when you go ahead and make it and send this template to cut, the score marks are not going to be on the template. Now, I am a silhouette user, so I do make my score marks differently. My score marks are individual little cut lines. I do know that Cricut does have a score pen and a scoring wheel. You do not need to put that none of that on your machine because my score marks are individual little cut lines if you do not like the individual cut lines you will eventually then have to change these score these um score lines that i provide to the cricut score lines which i do not offer that at the moment okay so for the so i'm going to show you what it's going to do if you do not attach these so right here where it says the machine i have to switch this up because i am going to be cutting it on the maker so i'm just going to click it on um, cricut maker and then I'm gonna click on make it. So it's gonna separate everything by um, the colors. So which again, this was gonna be the print and cut. If I go down, this is going to be the score lines. As you can see, the score lines are by itself and then so on and so on. So no, I'm going to cancel that. And then I'm going to click on this um, main base. I'm going to ungroup it. And then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to click here where it says attach all the way in the bottom right corner. It says attached. So now I attached it. Now it's one piece. Okay. So if I go back to make it see now that's the lavender, that's the teal, and this is the main base, which has the score marks already attached. All right. So let me cancel that one more time. And again, I am going to be doing a print and cut on the lavender pieces. So I'm going to go ahead to upload, upload my digital paper and click add to canvas. I'm going to right click and send this to the back. So I'm able to see my uh, template. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And I am going to put my pieces up a little bit more. Okay, just like that. This one here and this one here. All right, so I'm gonna click on one piece and I'm gonna hold my shift key and click on the digital paper back there. And then down here on the bottom right, it's gonna say slice. I'm going to slice that. It's gonna look like nothing happened, but just wait a minute. Then I'm going to move that to the side and that piece was removed. Again, let me send this to the back so I'm able to see what I'm doing. Send backwards or center back sorry I'm gonna click on this piece hold my shift key and click on the digital pattern then click on slice you're no longer gonna need those pieces so you can go ahead and delete them and that one is there and then again, repeat the same steps with all the pieces, basically. All right, so now you have your print and cut images, which I mean, there's gonna be the uh, last layer, which is gonna be the print and cut, but I'm not done here yet because I do wanna add a 3D image in the front as well. So I'm gonna go back to upload. I'm gonna click one of the images and I'm gonna click add to canvas. I'm gonna size her down. I'm using the um, little squares from the corner so it doesn't distort my image. 
and I do want to add an offset to her so while my image is selected I am gonna go up here where it says offset okay so my offset I'm gonna end up doing 0 0.056 and I'm gonna click on apply and then that will be my offset I'm gonna color that I'm gonna cut that out of gold so this offset is oh, sorry let me undo that let me move this to the side and then click on this so this is actually going to be a regular basic cut and I am going to go ahead and color that orange because I'm gonna cut that out of gold you're gonna repeat the same steps everything that I did here for the second version of the template which right now as you can see I did the scalloped edge but you know you're gonna receive two of them which will be the round edge and the scalloped edge well everything that I did here you will do that with the round edge one all right so there you go I have my image I have my um, offset let me actually center these because I do have to size them for the template so I'm gonna align them to the center here to the front of the template and I do need to make that a little bit smaller okay I think we are done yeah we attached everything this is gonna be gold oh because I am gonna be cutting this gold let me actually go ahead and color this the same color so everything could be on the same mat so let me go ahead and color that that color so all this is gonna be gold this is gonna be my print and cut she's gonna be a print and cut and that's it so let's get ready to make it and I'm going to be using 8 by 11 paper for these, I'm going to be using 12 by 12 cardstock. And for this one, I'm also going to be using 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay, everything's good to go. So let's go ahead and continue. I'm going to select the machine. Now it's going to ask you the base material and stuff like that. So I am going to be using poster board. That is what I'm going to be having. So it's going to say pressure. I'm going to leave it on default. Again, this is what I was taught to use. So I don't know, but it has been working for me very good. So I do use the poster board setting. And then you just load your, uh, you just put your car stuff on your mat load the map to your um, machine and then just click go it's gonna direct you right here on what to do okay and I do leave it on fine point blade like I said my score marks you do not need to change into the um, scoring wheel or the scoring pen I have never used that personally but again I am not a cricket person so my score marks are individual little cut lines all right so once you are done cutting everything you are going to start assembling okay so the first thing you're going to do is fold over your score marks then you're going to start gluing your layers i am using my own brand of glue and genus creations crafting glue uh there is it's not available at the moment uh but hopefully i will be bringing it out again but in the meantime you can use our glitter glue i'll leave that link down below as well make sure that when you are gluing the layers that those tabs you are not putting them upside down so the image is facing the right way once you glue the tabs after that you are going to go ahead and put your 3d image or a name in the front i am going to be using foam dots i got my foam dots from the dollar tree you can get them from amazon hobby lobby joanne's michaels it doesn't matter you just wanted to have a 3 d 3d dimension all right we are done i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below how you think i did with this cricut tutorial again i am not a cricut person i am trying to bring these videos out for you guys comment down below what else you would like to see from me don't forget to like comment and share and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe i am on the road to 100k subscribers again thank you so much for all the continuous support and stay tuned for the next tutorial i hope everyone's having a blessed day and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye y'all